Hey guys, welcome back to the campers. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're still setting up the house, waiting for our camper to get out of the shop. So right now we are whining about it. Yeah, we're whining about it. Um, yeah, as you can see, we're still at our house, still in the living room. Monday, okay, it's Saturday right now when we're filming this. Monday will be six weeks without the trailer. And I guess it'll make it like seven weeks since we've gone camping. And we usually go camping <laughs> like, like what, like uh -huh. two times a month? Yeah. So for us, this is getting really ridiculous. We're, we're having bad withdrawals. We're going crazy, guys, is the bottom line. And uh, we don't know what to do with ourselves. This no. is the sixth, like he said, the sixth consecutive weekend in a row that we have been stuck at the house, stuck having to do things that normal people do. Yeah, like yard work. Who yeah. wants to do yard work? Yeah, our yard looks better than it's ever looked in a million years, and the house is clean. Which is, like, good, but also sucky. Yeah. We'd much rather leave, like, a sink full of dirty dishes and go camping, right? Yes. <laughs> I'd much rather the yard look like hell and go camping. Yes, yes. Which is how it usually goes. Yeah, well, yeah. It's usually like, God, this house is a wreck. Well, let's just go camping in our RV and pretend like we live perfectly all the time. Yeah, and I'm sick of it. I'm just sick of the whole house life, the whole going out to see movies instead of going out camping, which I do like to see a movie once in a while, but it gets... It gets old and camping doesn't. No, camping never gets old. So anyways, yeah, so Monday six weeks the trailer has been in the shop. Um, for the first month I'd call because I guess I'm kind of the more outspokenly bitchy one. Yeah, he's the um, the foreman here. Okay, alright. I'm glad you said foreman and not something that was going to get you in trouble. <laughs> but um, anyways, so I would call and just be like, hey, like, what's the deal? You know, what's going on with stuff? And every time the repair service department manager lady would be like, oh, I, you know, I don't really have anything to tell you. And every time I'd make that phone call, I would just be like, oh, my God. And I have to tell David and just ridiculous, just rolling our eyes at it. And uh, so finally, enough was enough. Like, we wanted answers. So... I surprise visited the dealership, like, what is going on? Like, I wanted to, like, you know, practicing in your head when you're PO'd about something, I wanted to just go in there and just be like, what the hell? <laughs> but, um, you know, kind of like a restaurant, you don't want someone to spit in your food. We don't want somebody to, like, mistreat Moira, our travel trailer. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he called me up letting me know that he was going in there to do all that. And we had a good conversation about the right things to say and mm -hmm. what the game plan kind of was. And part of that was mm -hmm. our trailer had been in the shop for that before months ago and they didn't get it done. Yeah, we took it in one time and it was there for like two weeks. Yeah. And they're like, oh yeah, everything's ready. Come pick it up. And we're like, sweet. So I roll up, I get off work a little early, roll up there, start getting ready to hitch up, and they didn't even do anything. The only thing they did was, like, a little piece of trim that they decided needed more staples, and that was it. And so, but we had a trip plan. Yeah, we had So more, we took it. So we took it back, and we used it a little bit, and this is the second time it's been in there for that. Anyway, it sat in the shop for, like, a month without getting anything done to it. And our whole game plan, whenever we were talking on the phone before he went in, was... Um, kind of remind them just, that it's been in there forever. Yeah, remind them that it's been in there for this and that uh, we shouldn't be the last in line. Well, yeah, well, we didn't even realize quite at that point that the whole reason it had been in there for a month was because our dealership's kind of a new and small dealer, and they only have two garages, two bays. So they can only work on two RVs at a time new and used and so basically the whole thing was for the whole first month it was just setting on the lot and we would do like little sneak buys we can take this one little exit and on-ramp and see right down onto the whole lot and we could tell our trailer hadn't moved 
So we've been watching. We've totally been watching. And we still, we even snuck on that same on-ramp exit today and looked. But yeah. it was like, it was sitting there because they didn't have any room for it in the garage. Which is ridiculous because, like David was reminding when we were talking, um, it's been in there before. We shouldn't be waiting in line. You know, what the hell? So... But there is some good news in all this, and that is that we did manage to find some time to buy some new camp toys this weekend. Oh my god, yes. Which we're very excited about. Every time our trailer has been in there for warranty repair, which hasn't really been like a bunch of stuff, but we're like, hey, it's under warranty, we're paying money, so any little thing at all, we get it handled. So every time we are without our trailer, what do we do? We go shopping for the camper. Yeah, one time I think like we went and we bought like Tupperwares to organize with and yeah, blankets or something, right? Like yeah, a bed set or something. Totally. So uh, yeah, so we had to do some shopping therapy because we're losing our minds being at home and being responsible adults. So like, uh, show them one thing. We got a new toy. Okay, so we found this today. It is a light up ladder ball that's battery powered so you can play in the dark and the balls and each one of the colored bars lights up at night, which I am very excited about because I've had some good times playing this game. There's yeah. there's nothing like some friendly competition, some hooting and hollering and jumping for joy that you beat the other team. <laughs> yeah, and glow. And we have such a good time playing this. I cannot I just cannot, uh, I would never take back some of the memories I've had with this game. It's just yeah. such a great game and my personal favorite. And it's like really cool that it lights up because in the past we've played by like tiki torch light or lantern light in the dark. So yeah, this is going to be pretty cool. We, I don't think we've ever seen a light up one, right? No, no. We've seen glow in the dark, but we've never seen one that was battery powered. Yeah, so. like LEDs in it. It was it was actually a pretty good price. I think we picked it up at Walmart for twenty dollars. Yeah, yeah. So if you guys haven't played ladder ball or um, just never found interest in it, I suggest giving it a, a try and uh, trying to uh, uh, get your swing on. <laughs> yeah, get your swing on. It is best with a little booze, a, yeah. little, a little wine or a little beer. Kind of helps, you know, the competition. Yeah. Um, speaking of that, we're whining about it. It's been like six weeks. We deserve to whine about it, right? Um, you need a refill? Yeah. Will you hold my glass? Yes, I will. In true decamper style, we only drink the classiest of wines. Only the best here, guys. This the, is a... The uh, big jugs of cheap wine. Carlo Rossi Moscato Sangria it is um, very big. How big is it? How many quarts is this? I have five liters. Oh, oh, four. Oh, four liters? Four liter jug. Our great aunt and uncle um, introduced us to this. They said... We drink wine every night, but we can't afford to drink nice wine every night. So this is like their week uh, weeknight wine. This is the big one. They make one a little smaller. So the big one we've nicknamed Uncle Bill, and the smaller one in this we've nicknamed Aunt Hazel. So shout out to Uncle Bill and Aunt Hazel. Um, so yeah, we're... We deserve to whine about it, so we are. I suggest if you guys have some wine right now, pour a glass... Help us whine about our trailer. Any RVer out there understands like how sucky it is to be addicted to. You need a little more. No, no, I'm good. To be addicted to uh, camping and be without. Anyway, we got another new camp toy. So how about you show them what what you picked up this weekend? Okay. What I picked up, I'm super duper, super duper excited about. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's Zayun, I guess. I'm probably getting that totally wrong. But it is a new gimbal. It's the Smooth 4. And really, I didn't get this for us. I got this for you guys. Because you have got to be sick of our, like, shaky cell phone videos. So, um, we're actually using it right now um, on a tripod. So, it's, you know... It's really just working as a 
phone holder on the tripod right now, but um, so when we're out and about, like our last video, when we're walking around the campground, and I'm all shaky, all crazy, um, so yeah, it won't be like that anymore, so hopefully this is our, our last video was the last of the shaky earthquake videos, guys, but yeah, we're really excited about it, um, review, I don't know if I'm going to do a review on it, because there's tons of reviews on it, and I don't really know much about it yet, <laughs> right? Right. But uh, we're really excited to get back to uh, RVing because we've got a new game, we've got a new gimbal, and we are just like so ready to get back at it, make some RVing videos, show where we're going next, which we're still trying to like decide where we want to go. It's been so long, we want it to be like epic. Yeah, we want a really to be good special. place. Yeah. Um, what's uh, what's one that we're thinking of going to? Well, we're thinking about going down to the Illinois River in the Tahlequah River or Tahlequah area, Tahlequah, which, Oklahoma. Tahlequah, Oklahoma, which is a huge, like, epic center for floating down the river. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you'll see thousands and thousands of people floating down this river during the summertime every single day. There's never a dull moment on the river. Not dull at all because it's not like a sporting floating trip. It's more like a party yeah float floating with trip. your ice chest kind of yeah. float trip with some booze in there yeah um and it's like you can rv at these campgrounds that have the rafts and canoes and everything mm -hmm. and you'll load up in like an old school bus and they'll take you upstream and launch you out and you float and party and get really hot and exhausted all day and then you float back to your camper yeah. and take a shower and yeah. continue on with your evening. You basically end your really hot, sweaty, drunken trip on the water at your home away from home. Which is so much better than like ending one of those float trips and having to load all up and be all hot and gross in your car and like drive all the way home or something. So we did it one time before, I think for my birthday. Uh, was yes, it, I think so. Yes, for your birthday, it was a pretty good time. Yeah, um, we had a great time out there. One of the campgrounds we go to, Air, was it Arrowhead? Uh, Arrowhead, uh, yeah, that's more have, fr family friendly. Arrowhead's family friendly, it's it's um, what is it? It's uh, the one with the big stage and all that. I don't think that's no, family that's, friendly. that's not Arrowhead, that's Diamond, Diamond, Head. Head. Diamond Head on the Illinois River in Tahlequah. If you're the kind who, um, maybe isn't as quiet as a mouse while you're camping and you don't mind other people being a little mm. are we talking about diamond head yeah it's a party it's a party place it's a, it's a place where you can go and let loose and uh if partying's not for you then you don't want to be there yeah yeah if you want the really quiet scene don't go to diamond head yeah they have like a bar and a restaurant they have a stage with live bands and the owner of the place knows that their their campground is about the party. I mean, yeah. you'll see like golf carts rolling by, like all lit up, and people just woo and screaming. And I mean, if you're into like a good, you know, <laughs> party down type of place, it's awesome. But uh, that's one we might go to, not necessarily for the party down, but. It's just like a fun environment. There's stuff going on. There's people around. You know, you're not just like stuck just sitting on your site. Um, what's another one that we were? Uh, Taylor Ferry. Oh, Taylor Ferry. Yeah, Taylor Ferry South is on um, Lake Fort Gibson. It's over by Holbert, Oklahoma, and it's a Corps of Engineer uh, campground, and it's like really clean. And really cheap. nice sites. I mean, like a lot of these sites are perched up on little hillsides, yeah, so like you get a back, really good view. Like you back your trailer, uh, like if you have a rear window living room, like we do, you're like really way up in the air, perched off these hills where you just can kind of like look down and like lord over the campground. <laughs> yes, it's a really very awesome, nice, nice campground. We Clean. love to go there. We go there a lot. Lots of trees. You know, just really interesting sites. It's not just your lined up trailer park kind of place. Yeah. Um, really big sites, really small sites, and they're pretty much all spread out. Uh-huh. So that's an option. Another one that I just remembered that we were thinking about is um, 
It's a Sequoia State Park in Wagner, Oklahoma. Beautiful. I mean, like, huge resort there, golf course, uh, equestrian trails. I mean, you name it. It's a beautiful place. Um, we've actually got a video that we're working on we need to bring out uh, and, and post for you guys of our last trip there. Uh, but there's a there are a few different campgrounds there and Cherokee Campground was the one that we very last took our old trailer to yeah, and we really like it It's uh, it's a little more primitive RV sites because it's not like paved But it's really cool because it's on a hillside and every trailer is set to broad width broadsided I guess you yeah, say, yeah. to the lake view and they're just stair stepped down probably the best views I've ever had camping here in Northeast Oklahoma. I don't know. I don't know about we're that. Pretty close. Pretty close. We had some pretty good views. Yeah, we have but natural was falls good. was pretty great. Yeah, but not up in like the I'm talking about like from the camper specifically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, also, when we were there, our last trip with our old trailer, Clara the Sierra, um, it was a pretty memorable last trip with Clara because these people um, that were parked behind us were sitting out at our fire, our little fire spot in our chairs, and this like lady, we had no idea who she was, now we know her name is Donica, she just like comes over, hey neighbors, what's up, you know, they're over there uh, camping in their, what is that, a class C? I'm not sure. The motorhomes that are kind of like a van front and a cab over camper. I think it's a Class C. They Sounds would know. Right. We don't. But anyways, so we had a really good time our last trip there. We met Donica's family and friends, and we hung out and actually became friends. Um, they recently, good yeah, really good people. They're fun. They actually just bought a brand new travel trailer so themselves. So congratulations to Donica, Donica and her man. Her man. Um, uh, yeah, we went out last weekend because we were still whining about not having our trailer. So we went out to visit their new trailer. <laughs> uh -huh. I forget what it is they got. I can't remember. But it's nice. Really nice trailer. Um, so anyways, like hopefully our next video is us doing like the car commercial jump where we jump spread eagle into the air and we freeze in midair because we're so excited we're getting our trailer back yeah and you know just i'm gonna try to do like a video of us picking it up because not only is it been a long time but actually just a few days ago was the end of our one year warranty bumper to bumper warranty so this is like that final one, you know, the check everything, check everything. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm super whining about it. I'm hoping that our next video will be picking up Moira. By the way, Moira is the name of our trailer. If you don't know the show, Shits Creek, um, look it up. Moira is awesome. She yeah. Is, our trailer is like, yeah, yeah. Our trailer is like. Totally Moira in trailer form. <laughs> At least that's how we see it. Yeah. But um, anyways, guys, just an update video of our misery without our RV. So I guess we're going to wrap this one up, guys. And thank you for uh, watching. And uh, Thanks for coming that... back. Yeah, thanks for coming back and thanks for whining with us about yeah, it. Yeah, if you had some wine or even beering, we can consider that whining. Yeah. Just thanks for whining with us. Thanks for listening to us whine about it. And send us some like positive vibes that our RV will be ready soon. And maybe like... Pause this video, screenshot it, print a picture out of us, and then tape it to your camp chair at your campsite. Yeah, so, so we that could we could be camping somewhere. So we feel like we've gone camping. So, yeah, pause, screenshot, print it out, tape us to your camp chair around your campsite. If anybody out there <laughs> feels for us bad enough. Um, so yeah, all right guys, so you want to send us out? Yeah, so uh, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Subscribe! And we will see you guys on the next video. Have Bye, a good guys. night. All right. You hold that? Yeah. That's going to be like a 25 minute long video. It might be, but we're drunk. It might not be. <laughs> How long is it?